Hey, what's up, YouTubulous? EXO coming at you here on what's probably going to be the last hot day of the season. That's right, winter is a coming, but I can't complain because this summer has been full of nothing but hot days left and right. Awesome for competing. And that actually brings us to the topic of today's video, which is how hot should your subwoofers get while you're jamming? And is there a way to measure a safe threshold of temperature? Well, you're in luck because today we have just the right thing for the job. You see, I don't know about you guys, but I've always been the type that goes all out until I smell something funky. Uh -oh. And then I'll finally turn things down a bit and let them cool off. But what's unfortunate about having a huge chunk of ferrite surrounding your coil is that it retains and absorbs so much heat, sometimes even after hours of not playing. So it begs the question, besides feeling with your hand, when do you know when it's safe to turn back up? Say you're between runs at a SPL competition or you just handed out 30 minutes worth of bass demos and a person asks for just one more song. That's when having your coil temperature can be most informative. And lucky for us, there is now a device designed specifically for that purpose, the VCI-1 from Audio Sound Systems. It's an infrared voice coil temperature sensor designed by Mike Diaguardo at Diaguardo Engineering. So let's go ahead and head over to him and see what he has to say about this firsthand. All right, YouTubers, we are here at the St. Jude's 3X show. We got a little sub here, but what's more important is what is inside this. We got Mike himself here to show us a little bit of what he has invented himself. Show us what you got going on, All right, Mike. So this is the VCI-1 infrared voice coil temperature sensor. All right. What it is, it's a little IR sensor mounted on a 3D printed bracket. You put, put it right on your uh, vent gap on your voice coil. It shines onto Ooh. the coil and reads back the temperature wow. on this little display right here. So real time temperature. Real time temperature. Dude, that is a great idea for people who have like fourth orders too. And this okay, isn't the see. only idea that you got. You got also no, a voltmeter. Um, oh, show them the Usain. Usain Bolt. So far, it's the fastest voltmeter in the car audio market right now. No shit. Because everyone always complains about the response times of voltmeters. But if you take a step right in here. Oh, wow, it is already going up and down very fast. Yep, it has a 10 millisecond refresh rate. On film, you're probably gonna get like a shuddering effect. Exactly, maybe because but. of the uh, it's interlaced video. Let's see uh, how hot my subs are right now compared to how hot they'll be after my run. Check this out, guys. Courtesy of Diaguardo Engineering. Straight installed it the other day, and it's awesome. Yikes, oh! Let's see what we're working with. 73 degrees right now on this hot day. We're gonna average out the SPL of 30 seconds, and then let's see what our number is after that. Not bad, and we're at 80 degrees. Definitely heat, heating up those coils, guys. I love this thing. Awesome device. He just hooked me up, you guys. Look it. Stunning hard. E X O. Too hard right now. Holy shit. guys there she is we finally got a hands-free way to tell the temperature of our voice coils but how hot is too hot a lot of people want to know if there's a general limit on temperature but that's where things can get a little tricky 
Even though most coils can take temperatures up to 350 degrees, some companies use different quality parts, so making generalizations is somewhat inaccurate. Some woofers may start to stink at a buck 60, while others may reach a buck 75 before they really start to stink up. So it's up to you to find your magic number through testing. But as a general rule of thumb, if you can smell your coils, it's time to turn it down. At the end of the day, every woofer is different and has its own characteristics, and until a perfect world exists, at least we now have a device that can help inform us just a little bit more of what's really going on the VCI-1 from Audio Sound Systems. Be sure to check out the links in the description to find out more information on where to find them and get yours today. This is EXO signing out. <laughs>